A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island. An island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? I have stated many times before my feelings on Resident Evil and the franchise as a whole. Like many other people, my opinions on the games vary from perfect to average to never speak of this game again. Best examples would be Resident Evil Remake being just amazing, Resident Evil 5 being average to me personally, and Resident Evil 6 just being... Resident Evil 6. People always look back on the games as great scary games, but there is one stepchild that does not get mentioned as much, and it does not get defended as much. I'm not here to defend it, and I'm not here to tell you why it scares the hell out of you, I'm here to tell you why it scares the hell out of me. Resident Evil Zero scares me. You play as Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen, as they make their way through another horror-filled adventure, and you would think having two people together would make it less scary, but this is further from the truth. Because in Remake, when you were on your own, you were on your own for the whole game. In this, when you were on your own, there's a feeling of separation and isolation. There's a feeling of kind of being picked off one by one, and when you were on your own, you were left to fend for yourselves and fight any monster that might come your way. Resident Evil Zero also uses narrow hallways better than most games. There is not much room to move, which forces you to make the choice to run back or fight. And choice is always scarier than a definitive objective. If it was just run or hide like most modern horror games, then they would be the only options. Here in the heat of the moment, you must make a dire decision, a direct choice that could actually turn out pretty badly for you. The narrow passages of movement are present in the entire game. The train is one of the greatest levels of any horror game I've ever played, and like in real life, a train is not something that people praise for the space that you get when you're sitting on them. Here, you have to fight zombies. Not in a house, not in the streets, but on a train. It's so easy to get sick on a train in real life because of how close people are together. But try that with zombies. It scared me. One of the scariest monsters and weirdest monsters I've ever encountered in any video game are the leech monsters. The leech monsters move abnormally and fast, and the music that accompanies them is like a rising violin. But it's not in the way you see today which is done very tropey, it's done very sparingly and in a cosmic kind of way that makes you jump. The way the camera angles are laid out, you might not see the leech monster, but you will hear the music first, and you know that you are fucked. He was in here with me this whole time? Okay. Stand and fight, Calvin. Stand and fight. Oh my god. Uh... He was in here this whole time, so anyway... You, you ready for this? Did you want that? Is that what you want? Is that what you fucking wanted? You wanted to die in my hands? No, get it, no, get it, get it, get it, get it! I understand people's feelings towards Resident Evil Zero. It's the stepchild of the series that people don't hate, but people don't have love for it at the same time. I love the game, not because of the story or anything like that. I just love Rebecca Chambers, and because this game has some honest-to-god scary moments that I feel like are looked over quite frequently. Possibly the scariest moment of the game is related to my fears in real life. I'm afraid of heights, closed spaces, and most importantly, hairy, disgusting, ugly, giant spiders. In the mansion-like area, there's a door that is locked when you first enter here. But like every locked door in a horror game, you will eventually have to open it. Our protagonists, Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen, enter the underground. Again, this is another thing that is a sure thing in horror games. And what they find is something I could not handle. Spiders infesting the hallway, with not one human in sight. They are crawling on the walls and spitting poisonous venom at anything that passes by. These freak mutations are hairy, independent killers that see a shotgun and move toward it instead of running away. That thing my mother used to say, they are more afraid of you than you are of them, is the furthest thing from the truth. What makes them scarier is that they are just there when you come in. They do not rush to find you. You find them like it's their home, and since they are the only ones populating it, maybe it is their home. Spiders are scarier on their own, but giant ones make me goddamn terrified. Oh no! Oh shit, no! Go home, please, no! No. Fucking see you, I'm going through this door. Go fuck yourself. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. Billy. Billy. Kill it. Kill it, Billy. Come here. 
Oh god, it's running! All these things make the game terrifying, but the thing I would blame the most would be the atmosphere. It's quiet, for the most part. You can hear your character's footsteps, you can hear when they reposition, and when music is added, it does get me most of the time. Camera angles, like I said before, add to the fear. People call them archaic, and if you don't like them, that's fine. But for me, the limited movement and point of view makes it more scary. If you can't see your killer right away, you can't act right away, leading you to make dumb decisions in the moment. Resident Evil Zero is one of my favorite games ever, and I understand why people don't like it, but for me, it's a scary game. Yeah, the bosses are a little weird, but any chance I get to play as Rebecca, I will take it. Bring her back, Capcom. Bring her back. And any chance I get to be scared, I will also take it. I do recommend you play this game on Halloween. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I plan to do a few more of these as the month goes on. Um, please tell me the moments that scare you as well. Maybe this game scares you, maybe some other games uh, scare you. I kind of wanted to do more scripted stuff, and I think that's what I'm kind of trying to go for here. Just a few things to get me back into the mood of things. This is the first thing I've done that's scripted, I think, in like two years. So please be lenient on me. Um, but I am planning, hopefully, to get back to the standard of that Prince of Persia review that like I really, really look back on and think that I, I should do more of those stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you very soon.